Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Plus, and we are getting right in to the nitty gritty as this one. Oh, man, oh, man. This one is going down. The Rock is here on Monday Night Raw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we may be a couple days late to the fray, but the same quality follows from the week before as last week. It was one hell of a main event when we seen The Rock make his return. Right here in Universe Mode, the first time that we've seen him was at the Unforgiven pay-per-view. No words were spoken and Roman Reigns said everything was okay within the bloodline, but it was last week. We'll take it back. Last week as The Rock made his face known right here on the red brand as he was supposedly going after Braun Breaker. We all thought that the Tribal Chief and the, and the self proclaimed High Chief was going to team up to take down the badass and Braun Breaker. We all thought it was going down. The Rock said to Braun Breaker that this right here, boy, is family shit. And then he laid a rock bottom right on his cousin, the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns. Which, ladies and gentlemen, although a great match, that leaves Roman Reigns still World's Heavyweight Champion. The big question that everybody has on their mind is where does this place Braun Breaker? What the hell does The Rock want with the bloodline? And ladies and gentlemen, with the weeks coming down to SummerSlam, does the people's champion, is, is, he gonna make an, is he gonna make an appearance? We all wanna know. Questions need to be answered as we are on the cusp of the biggest party of the summer, and I'm not afraid to ask him. Big question is, what will he say? The world's been wanting to know what I have to say. The world's been wanting to know what The Rock has to say. Well, I'll tell you what The Rock has to say. I'll tell you exactly what The Rock has to say. You see, The Rock has been sitting home for almost three seasons now. The Rock has been doing things that The Rock wouldn't normally do. You say there was a certain time, my time, in the WWE, where if you had to handle business, family or not, you got in the ring and you handled business. And two times, did I not step face to face with you, Roman Reigns, two times? Did I not come face to face with everybody's tribal chief? And I let it be known that I was coming after you. And what did you do the next night on Raw? Instead of letting the world know what The Rock was planning to do with you at SummerSlam, what did you do? You bypassed me. You moved on and you fed the WWE Universe a lie. A lie that The Rock would congratulate you. The Rock doesn't give a damn about your championship run. You may be family, but you have turned this bloodline into something that it does not need to be. And I am here to change it. I am that change because I am and will be the people's champion. When the dust settles, when everything is clear, you'll be smelling what The Rock is cooking. You'll be seeing exactly what I'm cooking you see cuz what I'm cooking isn't no quick in the flash four-week buildup and I lose to you at SummerSlam no 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 Roman you see I come in and I take you out and I show you that there can be no tribal chief without a high chief I will show you the exact words that I spoke to you at Unforgiven in San Juan, Puerto Rico, but this time I will put them in action because you are a man of action. You are a man that needs to be shown the way instead of told the way. So guess what? The Rock's gonna give you a little story. The Rock's gonna give the WWE Universe a little story because everybody loves Roman Reigns, but nobody knows how Roman Reigns was created. Nobody knows how the tribal chief became the B. So you know what? I'll give you guys a little bit of a history lesson. It all started WrestleMania season one. The Rock, Rikishi, and Cousin Haku stood face to face with each other. We had a conversation, a long conversation. And we came to the idea, we came to the fact that Solo wasn't ready. Solo needed time. Jimmy and Jay were off to do great things in the tag team division as our family has done oh so many years But there was one man who was missing There was one man who instead of living up to his potential He was nothing more than a muscle of the shield and that man's name was my cousin Roman Reigns And Roman I gave you time after time, I, I was patient with you when you didn't want to join the bloodline when you didn't want to join one the one bloodline that makes you you. The one bloodline that lifted you up 
from the shit that you were in. The one bloodline that came and saved you when the shield turned their back on you. After time and time again of you disrespecting us, telling us you didn't want us, and turning your back on your family. At the end of the day, your family was here, and that has reduced to nothing in your eyes. You treat Jay like trash, you got solo drafted, and you disrespected Rikishi going into WrestleMania. The one man who was pulling for you because you know what The Rock said? The Rock said Roman Reigns don't got it. The Rock said Roman Reigns was in the same position as Solo Sokoa. The Rock said maybe I need to step up and be that tribal chief. But I was told no. I was told that my position as high chief was too valuable to be vacant at that point in time. But you know what? After what I've seen WrestleMania season, after what I've seen at Unforgiven, after what I continuously see from this bloodline is nothing that I would associate myself with, nothing that I would associate my name with because I am The Rock. And at SummerSlam, the entire world will know exactly what I'm cooking. Well, everybody wanted to know what The Rock is cooking, and I think we know exactly what he is. As Dwayne The Rock Johnson has set his sights on his little cousin, the Tribal Chief, and Roman Reigns. He wants that title, and he wants that title of Head of the Table at SummerSlam. But ladies and gentlemen, here tonight, we are building towards our SummerSlam Money in the Bank ladder match. It's going to be Seth Rollins versus Adam Cole, but that's not all. As Roderick Strong and Bobby Fish have look, been looking to go after the Tag Team Championships, but tonight, Roderick Strong takes on The Miz. And in women's action, as our women's continental champion is still champion tonight, she'll be going one-on-one -on -one with Chelsea Green. And inside your main event, then the first ever WWE Champion versus the best in the world, CM Punk versus Kevin Owens. Rollins knows what he wants to do. Curb, stop. It's over. One, two. Rollins does it. The Blackpool Combat Club just defeated Rhodes and Ospreay. I mean, what a win, seriously, what a win, but they are not done. They want to continue the fight, and you can't blame them. You cannot blame... What the hell? What the hell? No! Osprey! Wait! Wait! No! Not like this! Starbreaker! What the hell? Rollins says there's always a plan B! Next week, well next week this one heats up because we are heading right into our Money in the Bank qualifiers and Cody Rhodes will go one on one with his former tag team partner and Will Ospreay. What the hell is going on? We still don't know but next week we will definitely see the outcome to what we seen last week at Raw at the beach. What the hell is going on with Ospreay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as that is revealed to be our third matchup as Raw gets three and Mayhem gets three as we are going into a six-man ladder match for SummerSlam. But speaking of SummerSlam, that has got to be something that is on the mind of one Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. Although forming this sort of team in the Undisputed Era that wasn't expected to be what we seen last week is the Undisputed Era doubled down on exactly what they said they were going to do a week prior and that is go after the Usos and go after the Tag Team Championships. We were in Germany, it was hot. 30,210 people in the arena sold out and they decided to make their names known then. And they said that they want to go two on two with the Usos at the pay-per-view of all pay-per-views being SummerSlam. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is going to be very, very interesting to say the least as this one is going to be a first time ever matchup that we are seeing for the Usos as they may be going against the Undisputed Era. I mean, arguably so, the Undisputed Era would be next in line, I would say. I mean, when we think about the paths that all teams have went, we've seen uh, the LWO get a shot. And when we've seen the LWO getting a shot, we also seen um, the likes of uh, uh, the Undisputed Era rise, continuously winning matches against New Catch Republic, beating the LWO on another separate occasion. When it comes down to the uh, Undisputed Era, they are a team who have won a series of matches in the past and really have never got their due at going after the World Tag Team Championships. And if I'm wrong about that, please somebody correct me down in the comments below. But if you ask me, the Undisputed Era has uh, it's taken them a long time to get this shine, get this grind, and now 
They have their target acquired and they're ready to go. But tonight, Roderick Strong is set for singles action as he is going to be going one on one with the Miz. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've seen the Miz a little bit here in Universe Mode in the past as he signed a contract here in Universe Mode back at the end of season two, right here on Monday nights, where he comes to Raw with his wife, Maurice. And listen, although the Miz isn't around a lot, he is one hell of a professional wrestler. I gotta say, I gotta give credit due where it's due. Last time we seen the Miz in this ring, although uh, Braun Breaker kind of snapped him, he tried. He put on a valiant effort, and that right there is all that matters. That valiant effort, and that right there is all the Miz has to do here tonight. Put on some type of something against Roderick Strong to prove that he deserves to be right here on Raw. But it comes down to the Miz and earning his spot. He has won the line up to the door and say he is willing to do such as the Miz is all about nothing but earning that spot. What do you mean? You know, he comes a little smug about it sometimes. Sure, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, when it comes down to The Miz, when it comes down to Maurice, these are two individuals who have been waiting for a spot to rise here in Universe Mode. And, well, this could be it. With the Undisputed Era in conversations with SummerSlam, I can only imagine what that would do to The Miz. Being at a spotlight like that, being at an event like that in SummerSlam, it could definitely do wonders for his career. But, well, it's all up to The Miz, ladies and gentlemen, as this one right here, one-on-one -on -one action. It is going down as it was announced right after our Raw at the Beach event last week. One hell of an event it was as you were getting a different view of what you usually would see on Friday nights as here we go there as The Miz knocking off Roderick Strong there. Beautiful work there. Kind of uh, messing up the groin area. Now you see The Miz going in for a sleeper but not following through too much on it as he knocks off Roderick Strong and not Strong. Strong gets hit with a very beautiful... Uh, Elbow drop there is, I don't know what The Miz is doing there, but he's doing something as uh, The Miz is showing off to the WWE Universe and as thrilled as they did not seem to be. Roderick Strong getting them off their feet as he goes in for a quick suplex, but a rope break broke that one up. The Miz might have got lucky here tonight is now, look at this. Straight suplex there by Roddy to The Miz. The Miz is in trouble here tonight if he wants to try to fight for that spot. Is Oh man, knee right on the... Uh, the stomach region there, the side region. Listen, if I'm The Miz, I'm getting myself back in this one. As we all know, The Miz, he is good at going for those out-of-nowhere maneuvers. But Roderick Strong is too technical, too good. And he is staying on the attack here tonight. As look at this, gathering the WWE Universe behind him. But ladies and gentlemen, as this one-on-one -on -one goes on, we are going to have to go on commercial break. We'll be right back right after this. Well, tonight in your main event, we will be seeing Money in the Bank qualifier action as Kevin Owens is making his return to Universe Mode as this will be the first time we've seen him since round one of the King of the Ring. And he will be going one-on-one -on -one with a man who just got a successful victory last week against Adam Cole and CM Punk. Can the best in the world stop the prize fighter who were the first World Heavyweight Champion punch his ticket to SummerSlam? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial break as you see Roderick Strong still staying in control of this one as he is uh he's not willing to let go here tonight he is just pushing the miz maybe past the point that he uh he shouldn't be at but oh man like it or not he is definitely pushing him ladies and oh man look at that now as roger strong once again stopping down on the miz the miz needs to find his way in this one is oh my god look at this now Lion Tamer here locked in by Roderick Strong, not playing any games here with The Miz here tonight, but The Miz somehow, some way, staying in this one, and Roderick Strong just getting so pissed off, he just, he just lets go of it. He just completely lets go of it. I mean, listen, when you look at a guy like Roderick Strong, you don't think of a guy to, you know, a guy like him to let go of a, a submission, to say the least, as you see the Maurice doing her job here tonight as not only The Miz's wife, but as his manager here in Universe Mode to distract the competition. But although she tried to do so, The Miz getting back up to his feet, but Roderick Strong is still on him. Still on him, still in control, and still not letting The Miz up here tonight. As now you see sidewalk slam here by Roderick Strong. Some can call it bullying if I do say so myself as Roderick Strong. Not playing any games here tonight with The Miz and The Miz. Just trying to gather himself, just trying to find some bit of focus as now The Miz may have got the offense that he was looking for here tonight. Is look at this now, Strong bounces off of the ropes and Miz, Miz would some sort of would it seem to be of a psycho knee and no. Someone's been watching their Mayhem clips because Danielson's been going off with that one 
And the Miz seems to follow pursuit as what is he lining him up here? Out of nowhere, Skull crushing finale into the cover! No! Wow! Talk about out of nowhere! Man, oh man, the crowd! The crowd chanting fight forever to Roderick Strong in the Miz! Not something that I thought I'd say. This one right here has got to be the most slept on match coming into here tonight. And these two men duking it out, showing, showing that their match that must have been called a lower end card. It's the card as they are opening up us here on Monday Night Raw. Big, big drop kick there by the Miz. As, oh man, look at this, Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish showing a bit of unity here for the Undisputed Era as Roderick Strong is down. Bobby Fish coming to the aid and trying to distract The Miz as Strong trying to get back up to his feet. The Miz still looking to stay on the attack here tonight. Maybe looking to make him join his tag team partner on the outside if you can get him there and he can. Series of blows knocks him down and The Miz looking to meet him on the outside and he does successfully as Roderick Strong turns this one right around and brings him right back in the ring. Strong knows where this one needs to be and what needs to go down and oh wait a minute. The Miz begging Strong here not to do anything but oh wait a minute The Miz. Miz out of nowhere is going to get it locked in that figure four. It's in. Figure four is locked. That might have been exactly what The Miz needed to walk away with the victory here tonight as Roderick Strong. His knees are given out and so is The Miz, but The Miz, The Miz wants another Skull Crusher finale. Oh man, oh man. This right here cannot be good, but no, Roger Strong using that technical background to his advantage, letting up. And look at this now, working on that arm and beautiful work there, tangling The Miz up a little bit. Looking to use the ropes to his advantage as The Miz almost lined him up for what could have been the beginning of his end. Roderick now off of the, oh my God. Using the ropes to his advantage, using those knees. It wasn't an end of heartache, but it was a form of it. Ladies and gentlemen, Roderick Strong continues to be one of the most innovative wrestlers that we have ever seen here in Universe Mode history. As the Undisputed Era have their eyes locked on those tag team championships, we just gotta get the match confirmed. ring swerve off the ropes and takes down rude beautiful takedown there by swerve strickland beautiful work surprise there by swerve to rude two no rude stays alive rude stays alive once again a face buster there by swerve strickland and now he's calling it up for it Swerve, stop! Into the cover! It's over! We'll be going one-on-one -on -one with the megastar himself, L.A. Knight. For the first time ever, it goes down at SummerSlam streaming live right here July 7th on YouTube and WrestlePlus only. You see, last week, I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I continued to show up, show out and impress and impress is something that i'm going to keep on doing i'm going to keep on doing it for my career here in the wwe because over the last three weeks that i've been here in universe mode i've been getting nothing but support nothing but love everybody wanted swerve to come and swerve came and everybody says that this is whose house swerve's house and the same thing will be said at SummerSlam. you see SummerSlam is only three weeks away SummerSlam is the biggest party of the summer and the second biggest pay-per-view of the year and I may have not been here for WrestleMania but damn, damn sure we'll be here for SummerSlam and I can promise you one thing and one thing only. These words matter. This promo matters. Everything I say going forward matters because I am your next Intercontinental Champion and this is only the beginning of Swerve's story. Cody, Cody, Cody. You had to have known that this was coming. I mean, come on, right? Everybody had to have known that this was coming. This isn't new. This isn't out of nowhere, Cody. Since I won No Way Out, since I eliminated you to win No Way Out, 
I told you from the start, I appreciate the support. I genuinely do, but I do not need your help. And something got to me when I was standing backstage seeing you cut a promo about what we were going to do to the BCC later that night and, and seeing you turn my problems Seeing you turn my issues into your own story, your own personal gain, weaving your way into my future. I don't like that. I don't like that. And I don't think the people like that. But you see, the people are too stupid to understand what's going on. But I'm not. I've been through this charade before. And I'm not going to go through it again. I'm not going through it again because I was this close to becoming World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania. And since teaming up with Cody Rhodes, I have been in the dirt done nothing has been going good for me i lost king of the ring and i continue to lose and you know what they say if you can't beat them then join them and that is exactly what i did that is exactly what i did as i wear this logo across my left side because the bcc stands for something real they don't only stand for brotherhood but they are forged in combat combat that i am ready for i am ready for it and i am ready to move on with my career and next week Next week, I put you down, Cody. Next week, I do what I've been saying I need to do. In my head, I finally do it out loud, and I put it into action. I get rid of Cody Rhodes because I'm done with the games. We're not starting something long and going. I'm ending it before it begins, and I'm going to go to SummerSlam, win money in the bank, and become that much closer to championship gold. WrestleMania was a small setback, but Cody... Cody, I'm making you start over. And next week, next week you're going to have to face those facts. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in the Raw Zone, and we are gearing up for women's action here tonight as this one is set to be a doozy. It is going to be the Empress of Samaria Continental Women's Champion, Asuka. After successfully defeating Liv Morgan last week at the Raw at the Beach event, ladies and gentlemen, I can wholeheartedly say with all the confidence in the world that nobody is ready for Asuka. I'm going to be completely honest. Asuka is at a level right now here on this Monday Night Raw roster that nobody else is simply at. I don't know if we need somebody new to come in. I don't know if the women that are here need to step up, but nobody right now seems to be on the Empress of Tomorrow's uh, Asuka's level. I mean, Asuka is all over the place here in Universe Mode. She sends threats, she delivers. She challenges people, she delivers. She gets challenged, and she delivers. No matter how different people may change here on Raw, no matter how many factions come and go, Asuka remains the same. And so far here in Season 3, that has been undefeated as Asuka has been on a long and hellacious undefeated streak just for Season 3. She has got lost in the past here and on her overall career here in Universe Mode, but just for this season, she has not taken a loss. And it has been nothing would rise for Asuka in that Women's Continental Championship. When it comes down to the Empress of Tomorrow, when it comes down to Asuka, she is truly on that different level. Tonight, we are going to be seeing a woman who uh, put on a little bit of a doozy with uh, Candice LeRae a couple of weeks ago, or should I say more the start here of Season 3. And uh, that was that was that was a ton of chance. Her her and her and Chelsea Green they put on a pretty decent match to open us up for our new era here on Raw. And listen, although Chelsea Green may not get the most uh, love from the WWE universe, her her she is gold. Let's be honest. Let's be completely honest. Everything Chelsea Green does is completely gold to her in ring, to her mic ability. And here tonight, she is looking to give off some of that in ring ability against the women's continental champion now it is going to be a tough feat as you are not going against just any other woman you are going against the woman you are going against the top of the food chain and when you're looking at a woman like Asuka coming out of that successful victory last week against Liv Morgan defending successfully that women's continental championship you mean you got to think the only thing on Asuka's mind is continuing that streak if she did everything that she had to do in a championship match expect what she would do to keep her streak up in just a regular match and when it matters it matters for Asuka and when people think it doesn't matter she makes it matter the WWE Universe behind Asuka here tonight as Chelsea Green definitely has her work cut out for her as oh look at that Asuka tries to run right at her but Chelsea Green for a second stopped there in her tracks but now Asuka right on the attack here going right into the clutch here oh, what the hell quick work here by Asuka as Chelsea Green using that height to her advantage very smartly done there by Green 
getting her feet to a leveled position so that way she can gain or push that momentum, excuse me, more on Asuka. At some point, that would have went into a leverage pin, putting Asuka's shoulders down to the mat. Asuka had no choice but to let go. I mean, you talk about the innovativeness by Chelsea Green. is definitely something to see here in universe mode as Chelsea Green pulling back on the hair. Little ragdoll maneuvers here tonight as Asuka now looking to stay on top as she hits a beautiful kick there. And you want to talk about methodical and breaking down your opponent, then we'll look no further at your women's champion with a beautiful backbreaker there into a cover. This one's going to be over, or will it? No. Asuka kicking out and staring on at Chelsea Green. I think Green thought that suplex into that float over cover might have got the job done. But Green now with a clothesline right into the corner. Using that corner to her advantage. Smart. Innovative. The things that I say are carrying through all throughout the match, ladies and gentlemen. Because those are the characters of Chelsea Green and Asuka. As Asuka now looking to pick up Chelsea Green. What does she have in mind for her here tonight on Monday Night Raw? As look at this now. Asuka with a series of kicks. Series of blows there. Into the cover right before the commercial break. Is she going to be able to beat her? Two and no. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just as your reminder, later tonight we will be having our first Money in the Bank qualifier as we will be seeing Adam Cole go one-on-one -on -one with Seth freaking Rollins and a lot of people's bingo cards. This one's a dream match, so prepare to check it off later tonight. That one's going to be damn, damn good. Seth Rollins versus Adam Cole in a Money in the Bank qualifier as we are gearing up for that Money in the Bank ladder match for SummerSlam as we will continue to do annually. This is our second SummerSlam here in Universe Mode. We're very, very excited going into it. And just want to apologize to everybody who is watching this episode a few days late. We were a bit late to the fray, long, long week, but we are back on the grind here. And look at this now as Asuka looking to turn this one around here on, on excuse me, it's going to say Liv Morgan. Morgan still on the mind after last week at what went down at Raw at the beach. But look at this, you see... Chelsea Green teeing off here with the Continental Women's Champion and Asuka. Asuka is a fearsome opponent, but Chelsea Green seems like the woman to get the job done here tonight. If there was any woman to do it, who would you want it to be? Genuine question. There is no right woman to really do this. And look at this now as she's going into the cover. Referee doesn't see what's going on. Foot on the ropes and no. Luckily, Asuka had her wits about herself because that right there could have been all she wrote. Man, oh man, that was definitely, definitely scary to say the least. As look at this now, once again into the cover. This has definitely got to be it after times and times and no. It seems like times and times won't be the only thing that puts away the Empress of tomorrow as Chelsea Green going in the back pocket for an elbow drop. You know Randy Savage would be proud as the Continental Women's Champion trying to get her wits about herself using a desperation kick. Could that be the thing to get the job done? Asuka now, beautiful bulldog there. The champion's fired up. She is pissed off and she is ready to go. And you can't blame her. What does she have in mind now Was the champion now? Wait a minute. Twisted her around. That cross face chicken wing turned it in to the Asuka lock. The lock is locked in and it is not going anywhere. And the Empress of Tomorrow makes Chelsea Green tap out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, say that you expected Asuka to win all you want. But did you expect the performance of Chelsea Green? You know, our boy, Swerve Strickland, you know, you got a lot of smack. A lot of smack talk. For a guy who's fresh off the hills. A lot of smack talk for a guy who just won, what's what, two matches? Come on. Really? This is what we're doing now. This is what we have in store for LA Night. Listen, I'm going to let you know something and something real easy. All right, while everybody is swerving with you, while everybody is dancing with the Prince Nana, right, that small crowd, that little bit of people that you think is the entire world, well, the actual world is saying L.A. Knight, right behind them, you see, you have got too big of an ego, and you just got here, so let me humble you real quick, all right, because I needed to get a camera back here, I needed to get something off my chest, because after seeing what you said earlier tonight, I'm a bit appalled, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, you see, I expected L.A. Knight versus Swerve Strickland, something built off of respect. But what I'm seeing is a superstar who's willing to run over any and everybody. Somebody who is not only not trustworthy, but with his one of the dirtiest people that can possibly be on this earth. You see, you are not only untrustworthy, 
but you are slick and slimy. You see, you will do any and everything to win a match. And that's not going to fly with LA Knight. You see, that's not going to fly with me because I won this championship by doing it the hard way. I had a mountain to climb to win this championship. And I will damn sure climb another one to keep it. You are not better than me. You are not better than me. And I'm going to prove it to you next week. Because the entire world will be saying L.A. Knight. And you will finally, you will finally, finally get humbled. Because I repeat history. I will continue to repeat history by defending my championship and beating it. And you're right, Swerve. You're all about history as well. And you will do the same. You will also repeat history and lose another Intercontinental Championship match because me and Adam Cole may not get along. But the one thing that both of us will have over you after SummerSlam is that we have beaten you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back out here in the Raw Zone and we are ready to get right into it as we are gearing up for Money in the Bank qualifier action. And as you see the series of boos roaring in here tonight. Wow. Boos, boos, boos for Seth freaking Rollins as Rollins has fully embraced himself. In the BCC, the Blackpool Combat Club being forged in combat over having a shield has done something to Seth Rollins. It's giving him, it's given, excuse me, him his first victory, his, his first great victory in a very long time last week in pinning Will Ospreay. And as we heard earlier tonight, Ospreay has the mentality going forward. If you can't beat him, then join him. And he realized after that match, and he needed to join him. We've seen him wear the logo on the, his chest. Is he an official member of the BCC? I don't know if Rollins can shed some light on that or it has to be Claudio Castanoli. And we haven't really seen who the uh, actual proper leader of the BCC is. I mean, hey, I am all up for anything and everything. But here tonight, here tonight, no matter how much you boo him, no matter how much you cheer him, one thing has to remain the same. One truth has to be told, and that is that we all know Seth Rollins is here tonight to deliver us nothing less than a banger. This one, this one is gonna be damn, damn good. Ladies and gentlemen, your second pillar in universe mode history. He is your longest reigning and some argue greatest intercontinental champion in universe mode history. And last week, he went toe to toe with the best in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Adam Cole, baby. He is here and he is fresh off of a loss, looking to turn that into a learning lesson for tonight in his match against Seth frickin' Rollins, who was going to SummerSlam. We can see some BCC representation as we did last year at SummerSlam as Claudio Castanoli entered himself in the Money in the Bank. And this year, that opportunity is going to Seth Rollins and or Will Ospreay, as Ospreay has been announced to be in a match next week as he is gonna go one-on-one -on -one with his former tag team partner and Cody Rhodes. As Cody is not here tonight, we won't see from Cody until next week. As the big question that everybody has on their mind is what the hell happened to Will Ospreay? Why did Ospreay turn on Cody Rhodes? So many questions that don't seem like they're getting answered. I mean, Ospreay answered them, but come on, that really can't be the answer, right? If you can't beat him, join him. I don't know, man. I thought Ospreay had more fight in him than that. But ladies and gentlemen, the BCC... Are running rampant here tonight as they are singing Rollins' song. And wait a minute now, look at this. Early on's in this one. Rollins bringing Adam Cole right into that corner. And now looking to go to work here tonight as we are looking to stay all over the ring here tonight with the action. And look at this now as Adam Cole picks up Seth Rollins. What does he have in mind here? Rollins turns it around. Beautiful suplex there by Seth Rollins. Beautiful, beautiful suplex there by Rollins. As Rollins looking to stay in control of this one. And as he does so... Earning that victory last week got him in this spot for this Money in the Bank qualifier as Adam Cole 
Adam Cole, well, he was in a list. He was in a, uh, a list of spots next to a couple of the people who lost last week to get an opportunity, and his name came out of the hat. And I mean, for damn good reason. I mean, come on, Seth Rollins and Adam Cole, we are able to witness another banger here for your season three, as Rollins has been a, a fair share of a lot of them. Tossing Adam Cole over, I mean, come on, not only the disrespect, but the carnage being shown inside the square circle, and Rollins sit down Adam Cole, not playing any games with him, as man, oh man, Seth Rollins, he is definitely high off of his victory after the, uh, you definitely can tell, excited and high off of that victory after the Raw at the Beach event. What an event it was, by the way. Thank you to each and every single one of you for stopping by as that event now stands over at 2.7k views here on YouTube and oh Rollins goes through the ropes but Adam Cole sidesteps him and Adam Cole says that he just he's just smarter than him he thought about every possibility going into this matchup and although we call Seth Rollins an architect I gotta give that name to Adam Cole as well as Cole is on his game when it comes to these matches knocking off Rollins and meeting him back inside the square circle as Rollins now Rollins looking to get a little bit of gain from this one too as well. As look at this now, Rollins bouncing him off of the rope. What does he have in mind here? Beautiful work into the cover. Is this one gonna be it off of the swing blade? No. Right when you think it's over, Seth Rollins just surprises you more and more as Seth Rollins now with a beautiful moonsault off of the ropes. And Rollins, Rollins definitely uh, got outclassed there by Adam Cole, but man, oh man, what a back and forth we're seeing here tonight as these guys are all over the fray here in this matchup. Who is going to SummerSlam? The big question that everybody wants to know. We are looking for it to get answered and will the potential of it getting answered is potentially coming near as Adam Cole now has Rollins up to a vertical base. Suplex looks damn good as Rollins says no. Rollins says no, fights back, does whatever the hell he has to do when you gotta respect Seth frickin' Rollins for that one as Rollins now looking to bring Adam Cole into the corner. Beautiful, beautiful work here by Rollins looking to do maybe what he did earlier tonight with that suplex springing him off of the rope. But Adam Cole says no. Cole now looking to turn this one around here. Look at that! Ladies and gentlemen, he is not a pillar for no reason. All right. That right there is purified Adam Cole. He said once upon a time ago, all you got to do is ring the bell, but a curve stop! Could be the thing that rings the bell. One, two, no. Rollins seen the spot. He seen the opportunity as it was so close, but damn far as Adam Cole got that shoulder up. Man, oh man, I mean, come on. Come on, I mean, a curve stomp was what it took to take down Will Ospreay last week. But here tonight, Adam Cole standing tough. I mean, he is. A veteran here in Universe Mode at this point as Adam Cole made his debut a little over a year ago here in Universe Mode. And now he is uh, definitely, definitely making his name known. As look at this now, ducking down under, popping over. Beautiful work here by Adam Cole. Once again getting Rollins up and down for it. This time into the cover, sticking with it. And no! Man! I mean, talk about resiliency, dude! These two men, the banger that we are seeing as Cole now looking for his last shots into the cover. No! Rollins kicks. Rollins kicks. Cole with a super kick to the back of the neck. This is dangerous territory for Seth Rollins. If Adam Cole feels the need to lock in, people are going to get hurt. Cole, top rope, but missed. Rollins is called an architect for a reason. Man with a plan and a man that just snapped the neck of Adam Cole right across that outside area. That is, This is not good for either men going into SummerSlam. You want to go into that ladder match close to 100% as possible because of everything that ladder match does to you. And these two men are willing to put it all on the line for an opportunity at Money in the Bank, for an opportunity to cash in on our WWE Champion or the World Champion over on Mayhem. The opportunity is theirs for a major title and both these men want it. Guys, look at this now, Cole. 
senses that opportunity. Gets some right into the corner and a couple of kicks for his effort. Listen, I thought he was gonna go for that Panama Sunrise. As look at this now, Adam Cole into the cover. This one can be it. Quick victory for Adam Cole and oh. Wow, I mean this right here gives me a complete new respect for both superstar pushing each other to the limits that they've been pushing each other to just for an opportunity at that briefcase and even then it's not guaranteed but to get an opportunity at that opportunity showing how much that means to him adam cole now top rope looking to play no more games with seth rollins looking to completely lock in and hurt his opponent as he is begging for rollins to get up rollins does so and knocks him down rollins not playing any games and now this can be the beginning of the end that we thought we were gonna see before. Runs at him, Cole says no, slaps a couple of times. Beautiful work here by Adam Cole and a power slam for his efforts. Cole now lining up for what he knows he needs to do to put it away as he only has one last shot. Man, oh man. One, two, Cole does it. Adam Cole is your first man to waltz into SummerSlam and claim his stake for money in the bank. The game just changed and they don't even realize what a win, especially after a loss last week. This right, oh, oh man. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are scheduled for our main event to come up next, but that's that's after we get a couple of ads. That's actually that's after a couple of things go down. But 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 CM Punk, Punk said, "Hit my music." He is wasting absolutely no time here tonight. And if you can see the look on Adam Cole's face, the disrespect that Adam Cole feels towards CM Punk right now is absolutely something to see. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta get a pan in on this. As Punk says, it is clobbering time because, well, it's time for your main event. Just going down in a different fashion, no respect, no honor being shown by the best in the world, just pettiness. And you see Adam Cole saying, are you serious? Are you serious right now when Punk said, listen, man, I, I, they just hit my music. And Adam Cole is absolutely furious at CM Punk, but he has, listen, he got a victory here tonight. He won his match. He is going to money in the bank. And uh, well, now it's Punk's turn to see if he can stop Mr. Fight Owens, fight himself, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Owens is no easy opponent to beat, but here tonight, Punk's going to have to do it. He's going to have to find a way as we are sold out right here for Raw. It is damn good as this crowd is going absolutely insane for the best in the world, CM Punk. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know what Friday nights is for, and that's pure old-fashioned wrestling. These are two women who have won at it in the past, and this Friday we see the rematch. Shotzi versus Flair, another rematch coming your way, but an absolute banger, to say the least, as Ricochet and Dragunov 2 goes down this Friday. And in your main event for Mayhem's first ever Money in the Bank qualifier, it'll be the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, against Solo Sokoa. And ladies and gentlemen, what will be kicking off the show It'll be the contract signing for SummerSlam. Two former best friends meeting for the first time since their departure from each other when the Shield was a thing back in Season 2. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Monday Night Raw, and we are ready to go as your main event is set for you. And as the world is excited to see the angry bulldog himself, he has been locked in a cage and ready to get taken out. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a prize fighter. He is Kevin Owens. This one right here is gonna be damn good. This one right here is gonna tell the tale. This one right here, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be what we need as we march into our future as Kevin Owens looks to put his name back in that picture, in that main event picture. 
This is the way to do it. Owens knows what he needs to do, and he's ready to do it here tonight, even if that means stopping the best in the world, CM Punk. Kevin Owens versus CM Punk. A first time ever, the way first time ever should be done. This one right here is gonna be damn, damn good as this is your second Money in the Bank qualifier right here in universe mode. One of these men will be the second man entered in the Money in the Bank ladder match, a ladder match that we did last year. And the winner outcome was Bronson Reed, which later got changed later in that year. And I doubt that these men want that outcome for the Money in the Bank. They wanna win it this year and put prestige on its name. As look at this now, look at CM Punk. Listen, we talked about it in the past. Old dog, same fight, if not young fight. All I gotta say here about CM Punk is he's proven himself time and time again. And last week after defeating, defeating Adam Cole, a pillar here in Universe Mode. That's gotta be talked about here. As look at this, Kevin Owens just throwing his size around, not playing any games into the cover, and no. It was a two, but it wasn't enough to get the job done. As he is not playing any games here tonight. And listen, I got to say I can't blame him. Punk's been hot. Punk has been on his A game. If I'm Kevin Owens, I'd be a little worried too. I'd be a little, uh, well, let's just say concerned about what could happen in a matchup like this. When we look at Kevin Owens, yeah, he's a guy that we've seen wrestle here in Universe Mode in the past. But he's also a guy who's uh, taking his fair share of losses as well. I mean, we got to call a spade a spade if we're going to be honest here at commentary. And that's exactly what we plan to do as Punk gets tossed right here on the outside. And you know, you talk about the big wins that Punk has had in his career, defeating Will Ospreay, defeating Cody Rhodes, going on to the main event of Unforgiven, and last week defeating Adam Cole. I mean, when it comes down to season three, it's been looking like Punk's season. A lot of wins so far here in his, you know, in his career. They've been slow brewers, but when they happen, well, they happen. And look at this now, as Kevin Owens looks like he does not want to be that, uh, that name added to the list, as we've seen Kevin Owens in the, uh, well, in the King of the Ring, but he didn't last too long as Owens lost in the first round against Adam Cole. But still, you talk about Adam Cole, you've seen what he just did earlier tonight. You see what he is continuously able to do here in universe mode. And oh man, so it is no, it is no, no sweat off the back of Kevin Owens to having that loss. But this loss right here, this one could affect him as the referee is now on the count of seven. And after that big lariat by Kevin Owens, Owens is looking like he is ready to take a count out victory here tonight. An easy access to the SummerSlam pay-per-view. And Owens springing over, but Punk moving out of the way. Going back in the ring and now calling out Owens. As Kevin Owens lining up Punk, Punk lining up Owens. Both men getting eyes locked in on each other. And now they are ready to go as Owens gets picked up here by Punk. My God, was that a, that a brain buster? CM Punk definitely tweaking his arsenal here tonight as Punk now with a beautiful, beautiful neck breaker. Listen, this matchup right here, I thought in the past it was gonna be scary for CM Punk going against a former you know, champion in, you know, in Kevin Owens. You know, earlier tonight I said world champion, I meant WWE champion. He's been WWE champion, our first ever one, for a couple of months here in universe mode, overall losing it to, you know, as we've seen Cody Rhodes at season one WrestleMania, but take no, you know, respect off of Kevin Owens. Owens is that guy for a damn good reason. But look at this now, as Punk off of the ropes. Beautiful clothesline there by the best in the world, CM Punk, as Punk is bringing the fight here to our first ever WWE Champion, and Punk now calling him up. Punk wants Kevin Owens up to his feet, drops down with an ax handle. CM Punk continuing to be that guy here tonight, as Punk now delivers a couple of strikes to the face there. A couple of strikes to the face there, not playing any games, and wait a minute, wait a minute, this can't be good for the best in the world, CM Punk, as Kevin Owens is staying on his game here tonight. Looking to go the limit here tonight. And you cannot blame him. And oh, using that rope to his advantage. Beautiful work there by Kevin Owens. And now you see just grabbing the neck and just tossing, tossing him. And oh, another lariat there. I mean, come on, talk about dominance. I mean, it's being shown off to say the least. I, I'm not wrong, right? Let's look at this now. Kevin Owens is brought down here by the best in the world as dominance was being shown on display, but CM Punk did not like that at all. Punk wanted to get his hands on Kevin Owens the only way he knows how. Now looking for an elbow drop from the heavens. Gets him 
into the cover two and no. Whew. What a match. What a match, what a match, what a match. What is Punk thinking? Is he thinking what I think he's thinking? He's thinking and the Conda Vice. It is locked in and Kevin Owens didn't seem like he was going anywhere but Punk. Punk let go. He wanted he couldn't he couldn't be too sure about it. And I mean I completely understand when you do a maneuver like that, you want to make sure you are fully putting your opponent away. No mistakes are being made. And as you see there, Kevin Owens has a whole hell of a lot of fight left in the tank. Wow! 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 One, two, no! This is insane! Punk gets up to his feet! Owens catches him! Stunner! One! Two! What? What are we seeing? Punk continues to defy odds that should not be defiable as Owens now top rope splashed by Owens. The prize fighter has his eyes on the prize and tonight Tonight that prize seems like it's beating one best in the world and CM Punk is looking Punk now onto the outside. Onto the outside. This right here was looking glim for Punk at the start. Punk was feeling good after that victory last week, but this right here, this is a different Owens. This is the Owens that we've seen going into fully loaded. This is an Owens with a sadistic side to him that he is not willing to give up. He is willing to do whatever the hell that he has to do. And look at this now as, oh man, oh man, Punk now, oh! Up and down goes the best in the world, CM Punk. As last week he proved that, well, he's him when it comes down to all regards. But Punk, man, Punk needs to prove that he can move on to that next step when it comes down. When it comes down to championship gold as we are sold out here tonight. Both men going at each other here tonight. Look at this now. As Punk with a couple of strikes there to see him. Punk! And a sidewalk slam for Valiant Effort there by Kevin Owens as Owens isn't playing any games with the best in the world. More combination strikes this time. Look at this. Set out power bomb. Owens. Owens is feeling the momentum here tonight. As Punk now looking to turn this one around. I don't know how he could. And look at this now. Punk ducks down under. And look at Owens down for a neck breaker. And oh man, this one right here, this one right here is what needs to be talked about for weeks and months on end. The fight that these two men are putting to each other to prove, to prove that they're the best of the best. It needs to be studied. Punk just continues to be relentless here tonight, continues to be that thing that thorn in the side of Kevin Owens. He has made a lot of people angry here in Universe Mode and Kevin Owens looks to be named to the list. And oh man, oh man, wait a minute. The old dog looks to grow some wings as CM Punk. Well, he's calling up Kevin Owens, but Owens, Owens is very real, real slow to get up to his feet as he is just inviting Owens to get back inside. I thought Punk was gonna fly. I really thought Punk was going to fly, but look at this now. Owens catches Punk. Punk wanted a Hurricane Rana. Owens says, no! Power bomb by Owens! Owens now putting that work to the gutter. CM Punk not playing any games with him here tonight. The prize fighter has once again put the prize back on his eyes. As Punk is down for the count, Owens is up top. Wants the best in the world to his feet here tonight. And as he gets him, he goes down again. Drop kick by Owens. One, two, uh, no. This should not, this should not be a thing. Stunner, no. 
Owens, how? Fight, Owens, fight. This is that main event, Kevin Owens, that we've seen back in season one. We're going back to the basics as Owens goes flying. Over the ropes goes Kevin Owens here tonight on Monday Night Raw as Owens wants another stunner. Owens goes down. He wants a stunner. Punk says no. Punk now. And back inside the ring they go. The momentum for the best in the world might be over as I eat my words. Punk gets him with a neck breaker. Punk gets him with the one thing that he desperately, desperately, oh so badly needed here tonight. As this one, this one is getting personal. Punk wants Owens up. Owens gets up to his feet. Beautiful Irish whip knocking him down. As Punk now once again going under and oh! Spinning elbow drop there by the prize fighter. As Kevin Owens looks to bring Punk to his demise here tonight. And that demise could be... That corner as, wait a minute, what the hell are you doing? Dropping him down there as Kevin Owens looks to go second rope. Oh man, calling up the best in the world, CM Punk. I wonder what he has on his mind here tonight. Missile drop kick by the first WWE champion in universe mode history. As Owens is not playing any games here tonight. And look at this, continuing blows going after CM Punk over and over and over again. As Punk and now he is in a desperate, desperate way here tonight. As ladies and gentlemen, what the hell is Kevin Owens thinking of going for here? As Owens thought about going for something deadly and thought twice about it. I could eat my words here, ladies and gentlemen, as we are about to go on commercial break. And oh! Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is breaking news as we are in our main event here tonight as the Usos will be challenged by the Undisputed Era for the Raw World Tag Team Championships. This one has been teased for almost a month now, and finally, the Undisputed Era are getting their shot at black and gold. Will they win the championships that they have claimed for for such a long time, or will the Usos persevere once again? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial break as Punk Punk was able to turn this one around for himself and well, with good reason because he definitely needed to do so. As Owens on the outside in a bad, bad way. Owens took a very bad spill on the outside as he was looking to uh, do a little Suicina action. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my God! Talk about the shot! The shot to Punk as ladies and gentlemen. That was a shining wizard, but we all know the other word for it. It's called a last shot. Punk continues to send mind game and messages to Adam Cole as, well, I thought that was a one and done. And it might just be, but Punk is continuing to play the mind games on a, a future opponent. What could be? Owens now pinned. Is this one going to be it here tonight? Two and no. CM Punk has to think twice about what he wants to do here tonight. Lining up Owens. What does he have in mind? Dropping him down. Anaconda Vice. It's locked in. The Vice is in. Nowhere for Owens to go. And Owens. Owens flailing. He's fighting taps. CM Punk just made the first ever WWE Champion tap out. What did we just see? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as CM Punk joins Adam Cole in the SummerSlam Money in the Bank ladder match, we know this one is one that's going down, and it's gonna be a banger. We got the Usos. We got the Undisputed Era. Who will be dripping in gold by the end of it? Find out in three weeks' time. As this one is set to be an absolute banger, it is going to be Swerve going one-on-one -on -one with LA Knight for the Intercontinental Championship. And that goes down in three weeks' time at SummerSlam. But as for this Friday on Mayhem, the green brand, the wrestling brand, it'll be Shotzi going one-on-one -on -one with Charlotte Flair, who will walk away with the victory. Comment down below, but this one in its trilogy will be the second match. 
dragon off ricochet too as this one is gonna be a damn banger and it's gonna be good and inside your main event and our first money in the bank qualifier it is going to be Solo Sokoa, AJ Styles, one on one. And ladies and gentlemen, to start the show, the contract signing for the world title. If you enjoyed this one, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you on Friday. Peace.